Okay, a compound interest problem. There's the formula. We're going to plug and chug with all the values that we know of, right? We know that the future value, the total amount after the investment, is $524.85. We know what the principal is. It's 400 That's what we start with. We know what the interest rate is. It's 0 0.024. And we know that it's compounded 12 times a year. That's what monthly means. And we have to solve for t. Hmm, t is an exponent. So whenever a variable is an exponent, you should know that do, we need to take the logarithms of both sides. But let's go ahead and do some math first. We're going to divide both sides by 400. And that's going to give us this equals just what's being raised by the parentheses, um, by, by the exponent, sorry. And let's do a little bit of more math. We know what 0.024 divided by 12 is. We're going to add that. Okay. Now it's time to logarate them. It's not the real verb, but it sounds you know what I'm talking about. Let's get some space out here. So we're going to take the log of both sides to solve for this exponent variable. And we know what the power rule of logarithm is. This, this exponent of 12t is going to come out as a factor. We're going to divide both sides by the log of 0 0.102, 1.002. Right, because these two will cancel out. That's just one. So now we have this. Let's go ahead and pull up our Mr. Calculator. So the log 1.3121 log bam. 0.11796, I'm going to round it off to 0 0.1180. And let's find the log of 1.002. That should be really close to 0, right? Because 10 to the 0 is 1. So let's find the log of this next number. 1.0002. Logging it. Ooh, that e to the negative 4 is the same as times 10 to the negative 4. So you would write this out partially. Don't write out the whole thing. And then move the decimal points four place values to the left. Uh, uh, uh. And I'm going to use... I'm just going to round it off to 0 .00087. So in other words, 87... What is that? Hundred thousandths? Woo! So we're going to divide this by this. And we're going to get that. Now all we have to do is divide by 12. And that gives us the number of years, right? 11.3 years. And, okay, so 0.3 years, that's, that's rel relatively close to a third. So a third of a year is actually four months. Okay? But that's your final answer. I hope that helped teaches you about how your money grows or doesn't grow. MGZ out of here.